So we can see that the marine stim pack applies a behavior. Um, it validates that it's the right filter. Um, that's a bit complicated. Even I don't really mess around with validators very often. Um, so here's the main field you want to know is it applies the behavior of Marauder Stimpact. And we can see it here, but I'm just going to go to the actual behaviors um, uh, thing. Here we go. Oops, I clicked on Marauder Stimpact. Um, I should have actually clicked on Marine Stimpact, which is this one. And it applies the Marine Stimpact behavior, which we can see is right here. So then we can see it has an actor associated with it because otherwise they were, um, if you make all these cool effects like abilities and uh, stuff like Frostbolt, it's actually not going to have any visual or sound in game. It'll do all the damage and everything, but it'll be completely invisible. So you have to actually make an actor um, to represent that. And they've done a stim pack and impact, which will make that little like thing that goes above your head. And this actor is actually linked to this model. But anyways, the behavior of Marine stim pack, um, this type, the type of behavior it is, is a buff type, and buffs actually can be debuffs too if you set this to negative. Um, and what it does is you can see under the modification tab, the modification field, which is really the only important uh, field <coughs> for behaviors for this type of behavior, is that it will combat attack speed multiplier, so it increases your attack speed. And if you go into movement, you can see that movement speed is also 1.5 times higher. And you could do you know weapon stuff combat you can increase the damage this is the of all these of all these damage dealt fields this is the one that will increase damage by a specific number if you just so you guys know um, if you wanted to add five damage to your unit you'd put five in all these all these values so anyways he gets that but he gets it for only 15 seconds and here's a little icon that will display on the UI when he has this buff and a little tool tip so that's pretty much how stim pack works um, and of course the actor which has events um, Behavior stim pack off. It's going to create this and behavior marauder stim pack off. It's going to create this effect. So it, I mean, not effect. This visual, visual representation of of stim pack coming off. And uh, you can see that the model for this actor is stim pack and impact, which is right here. And you can see it actually has this little. Uh, uh, hold on, we got to go in the previewer. It has this little thing which everybody remembers from in game. Anyways, so you got that, and you know you can add. There's so much you can do in the data editor. You can add races that you know set the starting units, set the starting resources, you can show certain ones. Um, another cool thing is lights. Obviously, I mess around with that a lot. Since we made a bell shear map, this is the light we want to modify, and you can go in here. And I've shown us how to do this in my other tutorials, but you can just you know change the exposure to go up. You can see it's getting brighter there. And you know, change the contrast, add some change, add some colorization. Now we have a wild purple map. And if yours doesn't show this, you need to have your video settings on high like mine. And as well under view, you want to show light, show where is lighting game. You want to make sure that's on. And as well, uh, while you're here, this is important. Show bounds um, is why I have these things here, which is important to see where the edge of your map actually is. So back in the data editor, you can modify lights, and you know your light is actually specified by the terrain texture set for Bell Shear, which is the map type that I just made. You can set cliffs, fog, um, and here's lighting. So that's the lighting I just modified. If I change this to, you know, char or whatever or car, I don't know how to which is the proper way to say that. Um, then I can modify this light instead. So it's all sort of very uh, nicely customizable. And you can go to game UI data, gameplay data, items. Um, this is all pretty advanced stuff. I'll probably do an items tutorial in the future. Um, so, anyways, that's hopefully how. It, hopefully, everyone gets how that's kind of ties together. So, for instance, I'm just going to mention this now. If you wanted to make um, a buff, that I mean, not a buff, an aura, like say a Warcraft three aura, you would start out in behaviors. You would add a new behavior. Let's call it aura search periodic suggest um, and what this is going to be is a buff you press OK and this is going to uh, where is it it's gonna be duration zero period you want to be like point uh, point two and the effect the periodic effect it's gonna do so let's go to effects let's add a new effect 
is that it's going to search area, search aura. Um, so what we're going to do is that we're going to, oops, behaviors. So this behavior, every 0.2 seconds, is going to search around your unit and look for any allied units. And if it finds one, it's going to apply another behavior to that unit that's actually going to add armor or damage or whatever your aura does. So, so we have our search aura. And the name doesn't really matter. It's not going to appear in game. And search areas. You want to do something here. And we don't have an effect yet. And we can have as unlimited units within, let's say, five of our unit. OK. And by the way, let's go back to our aura search periodic. And we want it to be positive. Buff flags, countdown, no, we don't want that. Effect periodic. Let's find our aura. What did I call it? Search aura? Is that what I called it? Yes, it is. So we'll put that in there. So it's going to be searching around your guy all the time. Um, we do want this hidden because this is an ugly thing we don't, that the player doesn't have to know about. And uh, yeah, unlimited period count, negative one. No tool tip. So this is going to be searching, it's going to be on your unit searching around and it's going to be searching within five and search filters we want to only do ally and player and you want to um, get rid of dead so double click, double click so you want to exclude dead, you want to exclude hidden and you want to exclude missile and that's pretty much all you want to do And but this thing needs to actually apply something to those units around you so you add another effect called apply aura suggest and we want to apply behavior so now this apply aura is actually going to um, apply a behavior and so we actually have to go back to behaviors and add another buff and this will be called let's call it strength aura suggest and press ok and now strength aura itself is going to be a positive and modification so what is actually this behavior going to do well, this behavior is going to um, increase armor of our unit. So it's I went to Unit tab, and now I'm going to scroll down and change. You're going to get four bonus armor, and press OK. And uh, duration, you want it to be point, let's say point two, the same duration as or point two five, a little bit longer than our our actual searching. Um, where is it? Our actual periodic search because every 0.2 seconds this is going to look around your unit and find units that it can apply this buff to and meanwhile this buff should only last about a little bit longer so that when the unit walks away this buff will fall off them pretty fast um, and I hope that makes sense um, and we don't want to hide this you can set an icon you probably should set an icon and a tooltip and we go back to effects and now our apply aura should apply this um, or is it, uh, what did I call it darn it Gotta go back here. What did I call it? Strength aura. Ah, I always forget stuff like that. Um, apply aura. So apply aura wants to do as strength aura. So um, now we pretty much now you just go into your unit. Say you're zergling, and you go into your behaviors, and then you just add the uh, aura search periodic. So what this is gonna do? I'm just gonna run through everything. So it's gonna this unit's gonna have this behavior. What is this behavior going to do? Or actually, I can do it right through here. So this aura search periodic behavior is going to, uh, where is it? It's going to do this effect every 0.2 seconds. And the effect is searching. And the searching effect is going to, um, so every time it's run, which is going to be run every 0.2 seconds, it's going to search for all units around that are, um, that are of ally and player. And it's going to apply the, um, now let's select the effect. Uh, what, what did I call it? Apply aura. So now this is going to apply the aura effect. It's going to do the apply aura effect, and we can see it's right here now because I just added it. Um, and the apply aura effect is going to add this behavior to whatever units are found. And the behavior it's applying is the strength aura here, which modifies our unit's armor and only lasts for 0.25 seconds. So as soon as they walk out of this, the range of this periodic searcher this thing that's searching every 0.2 seconds, they're going to lose their buff. So that's what that's how an aura really works, and that's how you want it to work. And if you went in game, this would work fine, but there would be no visual effect. 